Hello everyone. Welcome back to 901 Woodworking. I'm Hubert Mace and today I want to talk about a problem that I've had with my CNC machine that's been bugging me for a long time and I finally found an answer to it and I think it'll be useful to some of you as well. The problem that I've had is the following. As you see the machine right now, it is sitting in the machine 000 position, which is its home position. Every time I machine something on the CNC, the last thing it does is when it's finished with the machining, it returns to the home position. Well, as you can see, this is very far forward. There isn't very much room for me to load and unload work pieces. In particular, if I want to load this work piece, for instance, I need to load it into the middle of the table, which is there. Now, I can't see what I'm doing. So the first thing I have to do, I either have to work from the side, which is very inconvenient, or I have to manually move the machine out of the way so I can see what I can do, I'm doing and I can attach the clamps that hold the workpiece in place. Well, there's a solution to this. If we look at an example of G-code, you can see what I mean. If we look at the end of the file all the way at the bottom, you see here a sequence of codes here that refer to G28. The first thing it does is go to G28 Z0 and then it goes to G28 X0 and Y0. G28 refers to a position which is defined within Mach 3. Now G28 normally is defined as the 000 position and is the same as the machine 00 position, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can redefine what G28 is within Mach 3. Let's go into Mach 3 and see how we do this. If we go into the config and then into homing and limits, here at the bottom you see G28 home location coordinates. And you'll see that they are set for x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 0. Now these are machine coordinates. They have nothing to do with the coordinate system that you have set up for your part or the zero that you have defined for your part. This is in machine coordinates, so it's all relative to the home coordinates that you set up when you first turn the machine on. Now you can make these numbers anything you want. What I would like to do is I would like to make the home position at the end of a job to be center in X, but all the way back in Y so that the machine has moved away and out of the way of the workpiece and I can remove it easily. I happen to know that as X equals 330 and Y equals 900. So if I put these values in, I hit OK. Now what will happen is whenever that G28 command executes, it will go to that position. Here it is in actual practice. I'll start off by setting up the machine as if I were starting this job. There's no bit in there. The piece is not even clamped down, but you can see what it would do if it were actually running. There, as you can see, instead of coming here to this far front corner and getting in my way, the machine has instead moved all the way to the back and centered itself. So now I have free access to unclamp my workpiece, take it off, put the next one on and get going again. And all because we changed G28 in the Mach 3 program. Remember, we didn't touch the code, the, the G code files at all. So as far as generating G code files goes, it's all the same still. All we did was we changed the value of G28 in Mach 3 so that it defined its home position as the back of the machine instead of here in the front. We haven't changed the actual machine coordinates 000. That's still defined up here. All we've done is change the home position that the code requests the machine to go to at the end of the file. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. If you liked it, then hit that subscribe and the notification button. And we'll see you next time for more 901 Woodworking.